In this video, I'll show you two easy ways to animate across multiple clips that you've split up and when you should use one over the other. Let's get into it. We're now less than one week away from the official release of the brand new Camtasia 2024 due to be released June 4th. I'll be hosting a virtual unboxing of the new version on that day in a live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday, June 4th. If you want to learn about all the new features and see me share my screen and demonstrate them, be sure to stop by. You don't have to be a channel member or be subscribed to my channel to join. My live streams are open to anyone. You can even ask questions during the live stream and I'll answer them live. So hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. Now back to the video. So the sample project you're looking at here is actually the intro to the video you're watching. So I recorded the intro to this video uh, and then I stopped the recording and then I went back and I edited the intro and that's what we're looking at now. This is the edited intro for this video. <laughs> so, and now I'm recording again. So here is the intro. So when I edit the intro, I basically, the first thing I do is I cut out all of the mistakes. If you look at these two tracks here, those are the two main tracks. The lower one, so in track two here, that's the audio, okay, my voice. And then the next one here in track three, that is all the video, okay, that's met, that's synced up with the voice. So I cut out all the mistakes. That's why you see all these breaks here, like there and there and there. Um, I added some background music. That's what this is here. It's, it's low in the beginning and then it gets louder. Um, this group here is the intro with the logo and the title. Uh, and then this thing here is just the sound effect, the, the whoosh sound effect because I, I do a slow zoom in or a fast zoom in in the beginning like this. In this video, I'll show you. Okay, so that is the sound effect. Now, these three things here, that's the B-roll that I added to the intro. So you would have noticed, instead of just seeing my face the whole time, uh, it was broken up with some additional clips of me running a live stream. Okay, so I basically downloaded a live stream that I did on YouTube, and I took snips out of that, little clips of the live stream, uh, and I used them as B-roll. And when you use B-roll in a video, you don't have to cut out the A-roll or the main video that you want to hide. You can simply just put the B-roll on top of the A-roll and the A-roll is hidden. Um, and I, I actually went through great detail on the timeline and tracks and, and how that all works. And I'll leave a link to that video up above if you wanna check that out. So having said all that, here is the intro. And what I wanna focus on is this last section here. So these three clips here. Let's say I wanted to do a zoom of these three clips, okay, across all of them. But the thing is, it's been split up because I made mistakes and I had to cut them out or maybe I said um or ah and I wanted to cut that out. So I, I did that, I made those edits, but now I have these three clips. So how do we animate across those three clips? The first way you can do this is we can highlight all three of these right click them and then click group okay that turns it into one clip all right so now with it being one clip we can go up to animations and look for our custom animation drag that down here okay and stretch it out over all three of them and you can see where the breaks were because the, the break in the audio is in the same place so i've got that animation arrow stretched across all three okay and let's say i wanted to zoom from there and at this point, let's go up to properties here and change the scale. Let's say I wanted to zoom in like that. Uh, let's just bring it down a little bit. Okay, so now let's just play that back. Or be subscribed to my channel to join. My live streams are open to anyone. You can even ask questions during the live stream and I'll answer them live. So hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. Okay, so that's a nice slow zoom across all three clips and that worked great. But now when I try to do this in reverse, okay, so let's just control Z to back this up. I'm gonna re undo what I just did. Okay, I'm back now to the group that is not animated. What if I wanted to animate out, like zoom out, okay? Um, I should be able to because what I started with over here, as you can see, it's already zoomed in, okay? Like if I undo that grouping, we can see that all these clips, see that? They're already zoomed in a little bit, okay? But when I group them, right click and group, that basically crops away anything that's outside of the canvas. 
So that's a problem if I want to zoom out because when I go and drag a animation down like this and apply a scale to zoom, See, it's gone. Like, like the extra that was there is now gone. So doing it that way isn't really what we want to do. But there is a trick to get around this. And I will show you. And that's by using method number two to be able to do this. So let me back this up again. So control Z to undo. Control Z, control Z, and control Z. Okay, we're back to where we started. What you want to do instead of grouping them, if you want to be able to zoom out like that and maintain all of this outside of the canvas to work with is you highlight them all, right click, so far it's the same thing, but now we want to go up here and click on Stitch Selected Media. When you click on that, see we don't lose this extra that's around the canvas, but we now have one clip down here and you can see by these stitch marks here that they've been stitched together. So with this, we can now bring our custom animation down and stretch it out over the entire thing. And we can, let's just see as my canvas snapping is on. Yep, and then we'll snap this here and we'll snap this corner in there. Okay, so now we can my live streams are do open a slow to zoom. You can even ask questions during the live stream and I'll answer them live. So hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. Back like that. So those are the two ways that you can animate a group of clips together. I say group, but group is perhaps not the best way to do it because of what I just showed you. I recommend using the stitch method. Do you want more tips like this? Let me know in the comments below. Or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.